hello everyone and i'm back with one more episode of stock watch series and as usual in this video we are going to discuss one more stock in detail with a multi time frame analysis so if you want to know the stock name and the way we analyzing the stock make sure you watch this video till the end and i this is a saturday and i am back with one more stock watch series episode number 36 uh, we have released lastly on 35 episode uh, the stock name is hindustan petroleum hpcl limited and it has given a very nice move in last week so if you haven't watched that video i am giving the link here you can watch that video again so it will help you to find out the reason why we have shortlisted this stock as a bullish stock or maybe couple of good technical reasons you can learn out of that video so that could be a way you can learn technical analysis uh, from that video also so let's discuss about uh, the today's stock we are going to discuss tata consumer product is the stock which we have shortlisted as a bullish stock for next couple of days uh, we have found several reasons here and i am going to uh, check and analyze this stock in detail so you can also learn out of that uh, previously uh, the lnt we have also recommended which is has given a very nice move on upside so if you haven't watched that video i am giving link here also you can watch that video again it will help you a lot so and i have one announcement for all of you if you want to learn more in detail about technical analysis we are coming up with, with five days online class uh, starting from 30th october to 3rd november link into description if you really want to learn in technical analysis we have found several uh, good reasons like uh, monthly time frame uh, the trend direction the stock is near to support zone so how you really identify this kind of uh, issues with the short term time frame whether to look a daily time frame or look to the monthly time frame so if you want to find out this type of question in your analysis uh, this video will help you a lot with tata consumer products analysis so let's jump to the screen hello everyone and welcome to the screen and this is the daily time frame of tata consumer products and we are going to check uh, uh, the different different time frame uh, first we have seen uh, on the daily time frame the stock is uh, making lower bottoms here but in this week we have seen a uh, slightly not the lower bottom but at the same previous bottom it has taken uh, making another bottom so that's the uh, eye catching of uh, sign for the short term horizon because it's on a daily time frame. so that is the one reason we have chosen and shortlist this stock as a, a bullish stock uh, for next couple of days so let's start analyzing the stocks with a monthly higher time frame as usual we are uh, doing research on a higher time frame to check all the parameters and we have seen a good momentum in last couple of months uh, up, upside in tata consumer because this is the monthly time frame of uh, tata consumer and this is a good spring candle in in a uh, in a september month and in october we have seen some kind of uh, declining again but a uh, very important is we have seen a declining volume which is a good sign when the price is going downside uh the volume is also declining that means it's not uh, that much sellers volume because volume is not high so that's a sign of concern because it's just a kind of a profit booking we call it because this is on a monthly time frame it has given a good rally with five to six candles and we, uh, earlier we have also seen here the some kind of after up trend some kind of uh, profit booking we have seen and then again the strength has been resumed and we expecting the same in next couple of months so these are the few signals on monthly time frame the time the overall trend from long term is upside so that's the crux let me convert to the weekly time frame and here on a weekly time frame there are so many uh, signals we have seen here the stock has given a good breakout above this level somewhere and around 406 it has given this breakout and then it has given a good rally on upside on a weekly time frame and after a certain kind of uh, upside momentum it has started moving down since last 5 uh, to 6 uh, weeks so now importantly we have noticed here that 
on a middle band that is called 20 sma middle bollinger band it has taken a support twice in last two weeks the first one is spinning candle with a good higher volumes compared to the previous one and in last week it has formed again a hammer candlestick pattern with a reasonable volume not a higher volume but it is a reasonable volume so these are the two reversal candles uh, which kind of a reversal candlestick patterns showing some kind of pullback may possible in next couple of days so this is the first reason at a support zone middle band it has forming a reversal candlestick pattern and volumes are also supporting because on a spinning candle this is a good volume compared to the previous three to four weeks and one more thing here is it is near to a moving average support and on a big body white candle it is near to a median of this candle also somewhere here so these are the few signals uh, we may see some kind of pullback uh, in tata consumer because the monthly time frame the longer term time frame is also on uptrend uh, weekly at uh, the medium term time frame it's slightly a uh, pullback on a weekly time frame and showing some kind of strength at a support zone and we can see rsi is trading near around 55 56 zone if we have seen uh, may possible around next week if we see a bullish candle then rsi will go up about 60. so this is just a presumption uh, we will wait for the high get cross of this hammer so it will be a good buy uh, on a weekly time frame as well okay so now let's check our uh, different time frame again and that is a shorter time frame we call it a daily time frame so let's check on a daily time frame so stock has uh, given as i discussed in earlier part of this video it is forming a lower bottoms uh, the first one is here and the second one is we have seen here but the third one should be below below this low but it has formed near to same low so that's the first sign of concern because stock is not following the pattern which is uh, lower top lower bottoms now it is lower top but the same bottom previously so it's a double bottom kind of pattern not exactly double bottom but not at least a lower bottom here so that's the first sign one more thing we have seen after a good uh, bearish candle it has formed a doji candle and then a good follow-up buying candle here uh, which is a good sign again because uh, after a doji the follow-up buying uh, should be above the high of the doji or the low of the doji should cross which is exactly happened on the last trading session on a tata consumer so that's the sign of concern one more thing we have seen here let's say discuss the rsi indicator is forming a very good bullish divergence pattern uh, setup here uh, the price is making lower low but the rsi is not so this is the again sign of concern so remember we, when we combine with the higher time frame like monthly it is uptrended weekly is slightly a sideways because some kind of profit booking but on a daily time frame, which is a shorter time frame showing some kind of reversal with the candlestick that is price and with the momentum also that is rsi so i am expecting some kind of pullback in tata consumer product so these are the few reasons one more very important uh, reason we can discuss is they are uh, just i am removing this band and we have seen from this swing to this high it is near to a 61 percent retracement of fibonacci 61 support 61 percent which is a golden ratio it is trading near to the same zone again and forming a good uh, uh, reversal candlestick patterns uh, rsi bullish divergence also and volume is also declining we can see in this last rally volume is not that much high which is not suggesting seller's volume in this counter so these are the few things and one more thing i could add i could add is the bollinger band tax here is the first tag we have seen on a bollinger this is the second one and here is a third one so almost three times bollinger band tagging on a lower side most probably stock will get reversed and give some kind of pullback in next couple of days and these are the few signals we can see and we can identify on a monthly time frame on a weekly time frame and on a daily time frame we have seen good reversal signals on tata consumer product so these are the signals which suggest the stock may give some kind of pullback in next couple of days so now let's discuss about the levels before the we discuss the level i just want to give one disclaimer this is not the buy and sell recommendation this is just for the educational purpose so let's discuss the levels 
you can enter this stop around this trend line gets break out here so this is a good entry area i just remove the bands also it will be very much clear so buy above this uh, trend line breakout which is a good sign to enter and probably we can see a good bounce around this if the area of resistance around 526 and we have seen a good support area has been broken out twice the support has been broken out at this candle so this could be a possibly a very high area of resistance 527 525 in uh, this data consumer product we can expect a move around 527 in this counter as a target area and you can keep your stop loss below this candle low so this candle low is around 458 so you can keep your stop loss at 450 which is a round number also so keep your stop loss at 450 right now stop uh, last close around 472.80 450 is the area of stop loss you can keep uh, for your long positions and uh, you can wait for the 525 527 is the area of target for data consumer product in next few days so these are the signals i hope uh, you would like to analyze and keep in your list for next week data consumer product is a bullish stock and let's meet in our video Hello everyone and I hope you watched the entire video and now you are very much clear how we use higher time frames and how we use a lower time frame like daily time frame to get confirmed signals. So this is the way you can also analyze the particular stock and as I have discussed if you really want to know and learn about uh, in detail technical analysis concepts uh, the link for my upcoming training is into the description box you can be a part of that also. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, you can hit the like button. If you are not a part of my channel, you can do subscribe to my channel and wait for my another video. Thank you so much.